Hadera Hashgraph, along with its governing council member, Shinhan Bank, have come together to start a new stablecoin pilot. Now, what's interesting about this pilot is that it's not just going to take place in Korea because you have to think about the partners that Shin Han has. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wade Teamer and you're watching the Digital Hustle News. In today's episode, I am going to break down some very, very big news for Hedera Hashgraph, guys. Now, you know how I like to do when I get to doing my research, guys, and I had, I, I really did some digging on this one, guys. So let's just get straight into the news. Now, starting, this will be a new proof of concept that will be tested to send fiat-backed stablecoins between banks and reduce fees and transaction times on international payments. That's going to be the key word for this video, guys. But let's get into this story. South Korea, Shinhan Bank, and Hedera Hashgraph have completed a proof of concept that is designed to conduct international remittances using stablecoins on the Hedera network. Guys, every word in this story is very crucial, okay? This new proof of concept by South Korea's Shin Han Bank for remittances can send money internationally within seconds for a fraction of a cent on the Hedera network. Hedera claims that the average fee per transaction on its network is less than a penny and the average transaction time is only three to five seconds. This is very true. Both vast improvements from what is currently available from traditional remittances. In a November 29th announcement, Hedera stated that it aims to determine whether it's possible to issue and distribute stablecoins for financial use cases with lower fees and shorter completion times than existing systems, while also making those transactions traceable. Now, real quick here, let's go back to the G20 report that we were discussing uh, right now, it's going on two months, guys, but I don't want you to forget that one of the most important goals that is coming down from the top is to reduce that global payment metric, guys. And what I find so interesting is that they're going to go into that in this very story, guys. Let's continue on. Adara Hash Grab, as we know, is a proof of stake, high security public distributed ledger network. The proof of concept, which is proof that a certain method or idea is practicable, utilizes Hedera token service and the Hedera consensus service. Shin Han Bank is planning on minting Korean won-backed stablecoins. Wow, international partner banks participating in the pilot will issue stablecoins in their own local currency. Now, why am I putting so much emphasis on that sentence, guys? Well, that brings us to the digging that I did. Now, besides the 1.2 trillion Korean won alternative investment fund that they started back in 2017, the list of global partners with the Shinhan Bank Network, that's where the interesting, that's where it really gets exciting, guys, because you can see right away, Japan, China, Vietnam, the United States states there's another headline that came out this morning as a matter of fact the bank of international settlements and the new york fed they're coming together to build a financial hub in the city of new york okay so i think the times that we were in when it came to new york and it not necessarily being financially forward if you will all that's coming to an end guys okay but there's more let's scroll over here guys and we're going to see more countries india eu canada cambodia kazakhstan another branch in the us and it's in new york hong kong the uk singapore indonesia uzbekistan philippines the united arab emirates myanmar man i haven't seen that country in a long time mexico and australia now i'll show you that list guys because that adds emphasis to that sentence they state while international partner banks participating in the pilot will issue stable coins in their own local currency. Now, they have two partner banks in the United States, okay? The regulatory situation here, yeah, we aren't there yet. But however, you will notice that the theme has been stable coins here in the United States, right? 
So let's just say, for instance, that one of these banks in the United States, probably the one in New York, is participating in this pilot program. That would mean, guys, that an American bank is using Hedera Hashgraph to move stable coins along with this pilot program. OK, that's as close, I believe, as we can get to an example of how Hedera is going to be used for digital currency payments in the United States. We're getting closer to that, guys. But let's move forward because we got some more info that we need to dig into now. Bank clients who receive Korean won stable coins will be able to redeem them for local currency stable coins, which can be exchanged for local fiat. Now, keep in mind, due to the alternative investment fund, they have one point two trillion dollars to play with. OK, allocated. All right. This is what they use was a potential allocation, which simply means that that one point two trillion is coming from other companies that are already committed to doing business with them. OK, so let's go. Yes. Reducing fees on international remittances. This section here is a pertinent use case for blockchains. The global average cost of sending two hundred dollars across national borders via traditional banks in Q4 of 2020 was six point five percent or thirteen dollars, according to remittance price worldwide's December 2020 report. This average is expected to fall by three percent to six dollars by 2030. That sentence right there literally comes right from that report, guys. It comes right from that report. And just full disclosure, I'm trying to get the video recorded and I'm having all types of weird difficulties, but I think that's just because we're close. And we're so close, you don't want it to be known. So I'm going to try it again, see if I can get it out. But I do have that animation, guys. The video is called The True Whales. Make sure you check that out. But going forward, Hedera and CEO co-founder, Hedera's CEO and co-founder, Mance Harmon, stated that there is a massive opportunity to cut out the middleman and make this process dramatically more efficient and cost effective, getting the most money possible to people who need it urgently, banking the underbank. Shinhan Bank has been a member of Hedera's Governance Council since April of 2021. It has also been on Clay Clayton's Blockchain Governance Council since July of this year. Hedera's native token HBAR reacted strongly to the news, posting a 10% gain over the last 12 hours. Well, as a title of recording, this, this uh, story was posted 10 hours ago, so sometime around last night. Uh, but I did want to state here that Clayton, it's listed on crypto.com, and it's a very interesting blockchain that I have not gotten a chance to look into, but as I've been looking at Hedera news recently, that name is popping up. So guys, we're going to do some research on Clayton, what this blockchain is and what they're looking to do, because they seem to have a governing council as well. So this is massive. This is really big for Hedera hash graph, guys. And again, this list of partner banks is what's got me so interested in this situation, guys. So Again, we can see all around the world, Kazakhstan, the U.S., okay? Our particular focus of interest was the U.S. Now, these are, as you can see here, internet banking portals, right? So in essence, all of this stuff is going to be happening digitally, online, okay? So if there is an American bank participating in this program, guys, then we can definitely reach the conclusion that... When it comes to digital dollars, we'll just refer to them as digital dollars because they're either be CBDCs or USDC. It's literally the same thing. But we can now have a clearer picture of what Hedera's place in that story, in that narrative is going to be like, guys. So that's why I had to give this to you guys. We know HBAR is definitely going to be one of those projects that is going to take us to the next level when it comes to payment coins. As a matter of fact, last night in the uh, comments, I was noticing the discussion is arising. It is that time to talk about the top coins for 2022. And I have been putting a list together, guys. I have been putting the list together, waiting on things to play out, see if I can get some more confirmations. But we are going to have that discussion. So with all that being said, though, guys, if you found value in this video, you know what to do. 
hit the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so that we never miss an update. Of course, I am totally uh, available. Twitter, Instagram, email, however you feel free down in the comments. Let's talk it up. Let's learn together. Also, still taking submissions for the Audius Artist Spotlight. Guys, I actually had the interview with the first one uh, last night. It was a very dope, dope vibe. Nyoka Nidi, you guys are going to like her. Okay, so the premiere is Thursday at 6 p.m. Make sure you stick around, tune in for that. And with all that being said, you know what I'm going to tell you. Have a great day. Have a prosperous day. But most importantly, we making this money. I'll see y'all in the next one.